hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to transfer stories the first part i'm going to talk about obviously he's part of my thumbnail uh like i said from arsenal now he's apparently got interest from two clubs one obviously you can see on the thumbnail and the other one is Atletico Madrid you really know Atletico Madrid now let's just sum them up very quickly about you know there are two very good teams one in Syria one in La Liga but two very different sort of clubs and I'll tell you why, I know they sort of play the same sort of way, but Atletico Madrid are, you know, one of them clubs that really do, you know, take the ball by the horn and, you know, and do their thing. You think this, I think, took a bit of a while to do that. Anyway, back to the main man himself. Like I said, 29 years old, so past the peak of his career, I me harsh to say. My personal opinion on Lacazette is the fact of he's not had his chances, not really if you think about it. Yes, he plays for Arsenal, yes, he's been at the club since 2017 and signed him for around about 48 million pounds. But if you think about the time of Bamiyang came in and you know Mkhitaryan and all these players I don't think he's really had the chance at front. I think like I said in yet again my opinion is one of them players that you know thought he could come over and play the English game and failed to do so but I don't think he really has had the chance to do, to do so. His end of contract is the 30th of June 2022 so you know two years. He's played 2055 minutes with 32 appearances with 10 goals. So you know the lights of his age and the likes of the contract he's got and you know the goals, the appearances. I don't think that's too bad, but I still don't think he's been given the real chance to go out there and try and play his game, in my opinion. But Juventus, Atletico Madrid, this could possibly be a transfer to watch out for this summer. Best way you could do that is subscribe to my channel. And hit your notification bell so you never miss an upload. But yeah, this, like I said, I think he might leave Arsenal. Selgan Merdrovic, sorry if I misplaced his name, almost probably half from somewhere or somehow. He's got interest from Chelsea. He's 25 years old. I don't know much personally about the player, but 25 years old. Interest from Chelsea with that Tom and Wenner deal looks like it's gonna go through and there's a video on my channel about that already. 25 if he wants to make it big in the Premier League, now's most probably the time for him. His main position is a centre midfielder. So uh, you think of centre midfielders. Before I talk about that, he's also got interest from Tottenham, so let's go back to centre midfielders. Chelsea got Rebus off the cheek. You, Tottenham, you know, I'm trying to think of players that don't really play. One for Tottenham that's sitting on my mind is Harry Winks, Eric Dyer, who's got four game suspension, uh, Daddy Alley. Just trying to think of playing something. Ross Barkley plays for Chelsea, I just thought of him. <laughs> but yeah, you know, centre midfielder. If this deal does go through, I'm expecting Loftus Cheek to maybe leave Chelsea. But, you know, if this deal does go through, it's called transfer stories for a reason. 
He joined Lazio back in 2015 for round about £16 million. He's out of contract on the 30th of June 2024. So, you know, four years left on the contract, £16 million. If the deal does go through, I'm expecting a, a bit of a profit for Lazio. Obviously, yeah, there will be another video if any of these deals go, do go through. He's played a minimum of 2,876 minutes this season. So with the likes of that, his contract is age. I think this could probably be a deal that goes through. I just think a few players may be coming out of Chelsea, one, maybe two. But I think this deal will go through. But as I said, the only way you can keep updated with it is subscribing to my channel. But 25 years old, centre midfield, attacking midfielder, which I think Chelsea do need slightly, could be the star player for Chelsea in the centre midfield position. Quite matter has got interest from Filibacci. Now, quite matter, we all know about him, obviously. Playing for Chelsea, Jason Ringo coming in, and him not really getting the chance in the Chelsea shirt. I remember a lot about quite matter. I don't know why, but I just remember, you know, the way he used to play for Chelsea, the way he used to play for United, I still does play for United at this current time. 32 years of age, so, you know, pushing the end of his career. He joined Man United back in 2014 for around about £40 million. Pounds. His contract runs out on the 30th of June 21, or 2021. But he has got a year extension if he wants it. I don't think he will extend that year contract. One, because he ain't paid enough. Two, his age. And three, I think he'll struggle even more next year to get into the United team. But he's played a minimum of 1,816 minutes with three goals to his name with 34 appearances. So that's probably about the right amount of time for a 32-year-old. With the likes, you're playing with Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, Scott McTolemy and all the rest of them. So I think Quiet Matter will be coming out of Man United this season. But Quiet Matter looks like he could be on his way out with United. Let's not forget, if it gets to January and... He can speak to Cubs on a freebie, so this summer I may not want to make a bit of profit. Now is probably the time, but I can't see for the battery pound more than £40 million pound for quite matter. Ryan Sessing, though. Ryan, for me, went to Tottenham and not really had his chance. He's apparently got interest from Barcelona as well. So, 20 years old. Now, before I get down to a few bits about Ryan Sessegnon, let's talk about our players and where the Liga take them and turn them into superstars in Spain. I remember Ronaldo being quite young when he left United. I think he was about 23, 24. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But, you know, Ryan, 20 years of age. His main position is a left midfielder. Or, or his other positions he can play left back, he can play on the left wing. So, you know, you get three positions for the price of one. His current contract does not run out until the 30th of June 2025. So, five years. Ryan, transfer fee plus contract on top. So, they do sell him. You are looking at quite a big profit. Whether that was in Spurs plans, I don't know. But he did join Spurs back in 2019. 
He's only played a minimum of 772 minutes. That's very low for a 20 year old in the Premier League. He's got one goal to his name with 12 appearances. So the likes of Ryan doing that, you know, 20 years old, seven, 700 minutes. That's not a lot. I can't believe it. Like what short time he's got. I remember him in a film shirt. I think maybe the move for Tottenham might be slightly too big for him. But that's my opinion. Please, please put your opinions down in the comment below. But Spurs did buy him for around about 24 and a half million. So I reckon if they do sell him, they will get big profit. Do I think this deal go through? No. Could I see Ryan moving out? Yes. But as I said, the only one way you can keep up to date is by subscribing to my channel. Mir Scrimmere. He's got interest from both Manchester clubs. Man United, Man City. Played for Inter in this currently. He's 25 years old. You know, he's at the peak of his career. If he wants to come to the Premier League, now's the time to do it. When he joined Inter Milan back in 2017, he joined for around about 31 million. 25 year old, I'll read his positions out in just a minute. I reckon they'll end up with quite a big profit. And here's his main position. His main position is a centre back. So with the likes of him being a centre back, his other positions is a defence midfielder. And funny enough about a defence midfielder, Man United are on the lookout for one as well. If I had to choose one of these clubs, and also you could play right back, but as I was just about to say, if I had to choose one of these clubs, I'd probably go United. Probably got a better chance at United than City. I so I disrespect City, I just look at the United squad, and you know, they're looking for a defence midfielder, and I think he could benefit United more than what he could do at City. His current contract does not run out until the 30th of June 2023. He's played 3,032 minutes with 35 appearances this season. As I said, I think he'll benefit United more than City. Being a centre-back centre and complaining that defence midfielder I think with Samir, yeah again sorry if I mispronounced your name, if I could sort of picture the United next season and please let me know if you want me to do a video on that and I'll give you my opinion on what I think the United main eleven would be next season. But as I said I think it benefit United more than City. But anyway, there's six players, six transfer stories in one video. Guys, you know what to do, good so a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.